welcome all today we are going to see how we can actually uh, use vlookup in a conditional formatting uh, scenario suppose this is the product cell this is the same excel file which we were using into the last uh, video so in this excel what we want to do that there is, there is some minimum requ requirement that product y should be minimum sales should be 10 product a should be minimum 15 should be sold and this is the data of all the sales person which have sold uh, the product so number of product that is being sold by them that is being reflected which product they are uh, selling that is being reflected so these two basically constitute the overall uh, working now let me understand let uh, uh, I know I'm not trying to find wherein I can do some 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 so so we need to check that these these value what 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 are what what are these values if these values are less than uh, this number depending on the product we have to mark it we have to highlight it so the condition will be plain and simple compare this sorry compare this with this if these two matches then compare the value with this value if this value is less than this value highlight it that this is a minimum requirement so let us quickly go and put a conditional formatting we will put up a conditional formatting we will put up a new rule over here we will go to use formula and then we will see where actually what is to be done so I'm just removing this upper stuff so that it is more clear in this now so we are going into conditional formatting correct conditional formatting new rule here is it this one we want to use it now which value I am going to check so I am going to check this value this value I am going to check and before that which I forgot we have to select this so that the highlight highlighting could be done now again I'm going to conditional formatting new rules formula now we're going to check this you have to also remove this dollar sign because we have to change the entire we have to check the entire value so the value the dollar sign from this value would be removed okay sorry Excel is getting confused no issues so we will we will remove this dollar sign from here that we don't we want all the rows to be checked now once we have put up this 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 should be less than if this is less than what so here comes a we look up we look up will actually give that where it is coming from so we look up what it has to be looked up so this product has to be looked up again since the whole row has to be looked up so we will remove this dollar sign look up this comma where actually it has to look up so it has to be looked up here done comma which row has to be taken if it is being found so if it founds this product y over here the second row has to be taken to comma zero so this internal will give you the exact uh, calculation and then whatever the value will come that will be highlighted so we are just defining our highlighting rules let us see okay so this automatically comes up can you see it now I will also explain you the formula see <coughs> 
here it says that this internal structure what this will do this will look up for the first one let us say product y which is this one and then it will go and find product y here and then once it finds product y it will take the value from here so for product y it will take 10 from here and this 10 will be passed and will be checked that is 10 less than f3 sorry f3 so it goes into f3 and say checked it is 54 while it is 10 it is not less go forward and this will continue for the entire stuff and it will go on and once it finds the value to be okay it will just highlight because we have selected the entire so these four are less than the allowed number so that is why they are highlighted so this is plain and simple you can use uh, in a very big big field this is one of the best formula which you can use for finding you know minimum requirement or maximum requirement or equal to requirement kind of you know calculations so whatever you change it like suppose if you change it to maybe uh, what is, let's say less than 50 so the moment you change it to less than 50 automatically less than 50 will be highlighted so this is how automatical calculation is being done okay see you in the next video soon